Sub Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to Nespy Reviews where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Suave titled KIT off of the 222 album, Triple Two. And if we switch over to here, we have a, the album on Spotify. We're going to be listening through KIT, KIT, should I say, from start to finish. I'm going to hear what we think. Let's go. Oh, it's really, really loud. Nice sonic ring effects there, though, that little foley bit. Oh, there's, there's lyrics. Nice. Awesome. I like the clean vocals. I think there might be a little bit of modulation on them, but that that's absolutely fine. This works within the genre. And the 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 call and responses and the the overdubs are pretty as well, as along with the kind of twisted kind of wow well, kind of. Uh, how do I, what's the word? Kind of writhing synthesizer in the background with the trap drums. I, I think it's a pretty interesting combination to start a track with. Some reverse takes. Mm. Good, good, Joe. You good use of the other way there. I, I think the, the accompaniment instrumentation behind the vocals is really intriguing. You know, I know I've, I've got the lyrics on screen just because it's good. To, I, I've had people ask me to put the lyrics on the screen so they can read through them as well. Um, but also shout outs for Suave to to put the lyrics in here because it means I can read through them at the end of the review. I'm, I'm trying not to focus on them too much at the moment because I'm trying to like listen to the music and sort of focus on that purely. But at the same time, just like the combination, having the 808 come in in that verse part with the kind of things being a little more floaty in that intro hook, it was just something I know I probably should have expected, but I didn't. And the proficiency of how it was enabled there and the smoothness of the studio production is a very positive first impression, you know? Okay, so that was an interesting transition back into a, a chorus. I think the continuity of the theme, even with the instantiation of the, um, the 808 there, kind of you get lost in it. And that's that's okay because of the, the the length of time we've got for this track. It's more like an experience of getting stuck in someone's head and hearing them out. I kind of, I'm, I'm not upset with that at all. I'm surprised that we haven't had the 808 come in. <laughs> Good job. Big finish. And the filtering of the vocals is a nice touch as well for an outro. Yep, and sort of subtracting layers. Is this just this two chord progression with arpeggios in it? It's kind of crazy what you can get away with with just a few ingredients with some interesting filtering, some oscillation, some phasing maybe. A lot you can do with synths nowadays. 
And this is the conclusion of my review of KIT by Suave. Um, what do I think this track is about? I think this track is about someone who uh, wants to get with someone that they're passionate about, they, they're really uh, attracted to, but they also don't want to leave themselves vulnerable to an extent where they can get hurt again. So they're trying to figure out if this person's going to be who they need or want them to be or if it's going to be like a safe move to get with them. That's basically what this track is about. And it kind of lets you into their life a little bit, their history, knowing that they struggled in the past or they got hurt in the past. So I, I think that's great. I think it's, you know, it's it's not necessarily a story that I haven't heard before, but it nonetheless it teaches you about the person, lets you into their world. And it's a topic that a lot of people are probably going to be able to relate to, trying to sort of protect themselves, you know, keep themselves protected. Because I think that's incredibly important, you know, like setting boundaries, you know, allowing yourself to basically, um, allowing yourself to, to not get screwed over by someone. It's good. It's good. It could be good to be careful to an extent, right? But, but anyways, um, so like, cool story. Um, I think that Suave, the way he sang and then kind of melodically rapped in the verse parts was, was great. It was tight. Um, we were clearly confident about the direction we were going with these different melodies and we understood how to sort of layer the overdubs on top of them. And we knew how to kind of elaborate and uh, instantiate rhymes and flow in a way where it would be meaningful and sort of like slowly over the course of the track kind of give us more and more of what we wanted. I liked how in verse two it talked about kind of like saying, yo, wait, we need to just check though if this is going to work. You know, we need to check if you're going to be okay with me or if we're going to be down with each other. I like the fact that the story developed as it went along and showed different angles of the progression of that, you know. So that, that was cool because I think KIT is keep it true, like keep it like chill, tranquil, you know. And, and that's dope. I, I think that that's a good title for it. It represented the story song. Well, I, the, the and I think the vocals were very competently done. The vocal style wasn't aggressive or anything like that. It was careful and gentle and caring, but also like, hey, we need to just do this properly. I think the track at three minutes 12 was, was well structured. Um, you know, within this genre, I think a lot of the power comes from having a really tight sort of main beat behind it a motif that'll carry you through three minutes 12 and we we had that here and it was relatively minimalist in the sense that we had you know just like kind of that sort of writhing kind of see sort of twisty kind of out there synthesizer working alongside the 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 trap kit with the kick snare and so symbol samples and um it was more like a click or a rim shot, right? Actually, as opposed to like a snare sound. But then we had the 808 coming occasionally just to kind of oomph it up a little bit, give it a bit more kind of kind of kick in the low end. And we brought that in when we needed to. And I think it was great that we kind of added and took stuff away at certain points where it was meaningful. The consistency of the theme behind it and the dependence on that sort of synth, mo synth part in the background meant that at times I wasn't sure of like which was the verse and which was the chorus. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just how I found it. Um, but that's that's okay though, because it could have easily have just been through composed by virtue of having that same motif the whole time. I don't think the song would have necessarily benefited from changing, uh, it wouldn't have ne necessarily benefited from changing like the theme halfway or adding a new chord progression or anything like that. We had an idea we wanted to communicate and that went throughout and the slight changes in the amount of instruments we had or the intensity and in whichever frequency spectrum, part of the frequency spectrum meant that it stayed interesting throughout as well as the variations in the vocal performance there. Uh, it was a two chord progression with some twisty kind of notes in it. It changes in sort of eighth, sixteenth flows and occasional sort of triplets and, and the snare parts there or the drum parts without a lot of change there. And the 808 just kind of stayed within that root note of the main key signature and kind of held there with a little bit of exploration around the, the, the higher notes just as with the tails. But that, that, that's all right. I mean, that's basically uh, kind of what you need. That's the fundamentals. A song within like rap and hip hop and asserted genres and, and that's fine. I think that the studio production and recording, mixing and mastering was done well. I don't have any complaints about the way the vocals were filtered, EQ'd um, or recorded. I think it was it was good. The uh, the effects on the vocals where well, they kind of like went outwards in the headphones and kind of flooded around all over the place was kind of dope as well and made it sound big and full sounding. So that was that was well done. Like, vocals had lots of presence in the mix, despite how kind of misty they sounded. Um, the drums were nice and punchy and side chained to the 808s when they came in, which were nice and full sounding and that low end, nicely compressed. But then they just kind of kept the groove going when it was just a kind of a fluffy kind of otherworldly synth patterns in the background that can maintain that kind of mid to high range presence. 
that was associated with the vocal parts. And all in all, I think things were n nicely stacked in the frequency spectrum. It was nice and wide. In the stereo field, it, the leveling was solid and it was nice and loud without pumping. It sort of limiting compression was handled. I mean, this is effectively my review of this track, KIT from Suave off of their 222 album, Triple Two album. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go check out their various social medias and uh, the Spotify page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands up. <laughs>